The Dow has risen today, and it is certainly rising 12% in the last two and a half months alone. More than that now. So to what extent is the Bush administration responsible for the recent market rally? William Spiropoulos is president and CEO of Core State's Capital Advisors. He says the White House deserves most of the credit. But Jeffrey Sott, chief investment strategist with Raymond James, says the surge was generated by the drop in energy prices, which we're seeing again today. Hello. Unbelievable. And is not attributable to President Bush. Welcome to you both. Pleasure. Hi, Liz. You know, you both could be right. You both could be wrong on those fronts. But, William, we'll start with your belief. How and why is the president really responsible for this recent market rally in stocks? Well, I think the... Um the president's done a lot of things right, and it's a very uh, popular thing to um, basically charge him with all of the uh, things that have gone wrong and no credit for anything that's gone right. They have um, invested um, wisely in um, their tax policies. Um, w obviously has done uh, very well in getting the Fed and the Treasury to play nice. Uh, interest rates have helped us in the last cycle. Um, energy, I, I don't think that's anything that... Um, he should be credited for or against. And as a matter of fact, if his energy policy had passed six years earlier, maybe we wouldn't be in the, uh, the mess that we had this last year. Jeff Sott, do you agree right now with anything William said? Yeah, I do. I think George Bush uh, deserves a lot of credit for a number of things. I just don't think the rally uh, beginning uh, in late July, early, early August is one of them. I think you can correlate it directly to the crash in gasoline prices, which at the peak to trough were down about 35, 36 percent. And you can see the casual dining stocks leap higher on that along with the retailers. But, but Jeff... Overall, though, when, when you see that the economy is pretty darn good, uh, perhaps, uh, as William, I bet, would say, due to the president's policies, would that then not translate overall to sort of a salubrious effect on uh, the markets? Well, the economy's been pretty good for the past three, three years, and uh, the S&P has been locked in a trading range up until recently. Uh, no, I think the recent rally that broke the Dow out and broke the uh, S&P 500 to new reaction highs uh, is attributable to the crash in gasoline prices and the weakness in the energy complex. William, uh, Jeff makes the point, certainly, that, that when gasoline prices were a lot higher, people were getting really nervous and perhaps at least considering or showing some interest in snapping close the wallet. We saw casual dining suffer back then. All of a sudden, it's a reverse. How can you then, if you say that the president has nothing to do with energy, then attribute the good success of the markets to him? Miss Lizzie, the, the American consumer is like a cockroach. It's just not going to go away. So I wouldn't take too seriously what they're going to do or not do. Um, they, the thing you have to look at is this, this expansion, this recovery started, if I'm not mistaken, around 7,300. Um, back in the, uh, the summer of um, 03, and it, after a triple bottom, I mean, a lot of things went right to bring us to where we are today. And I think that the, uh, the Bush administration on their uh, monetary policy taxation um, is responsible for a large degree of this. The, um, the energy, we're all going to be right and wrong on that numerous times over the next three, four, five, six years as we move towards um, hopefully... Um, gaining some uh, independence on our uh, energy needs. I can't but help but notice the Dow's up more than 90 points on a day like this. Jeff, how long does this goodwill last? Uh, we've suggested that it was going to last probably into either last Friday's option expiration or sometime into the fiscal year end for the institutions. You've got a lot of institutions that are trying to play catch up. A lot of the mutual funds closed their books at the end of this month and uh, they're under invested right here and the performance anxiety is intense and I think they're, they'll bid up the groups that have been working uh, right into the end of their fiscal year. Nice to see you both, William and Jeff. We'll see you later. Thanks. Pleasure.